Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah. Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve nuala. The dua that we have tonight is a, uh, it's a beautiful dua. It seeks uh, pardon and forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and protection uh, as well from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially in matters related to things which are very close to you. And this dua goes, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah fi dunya wal-akhirah. اللهم إني أسألك العفو والعافية في ديني ودنياي ومالي وأهلي اللهم استر عوراتي وآمن روعاتي اللهم احفظني من بين يدي ومن خلفي وعن يميني وعن شمالي وأعوذ بعظمتك أن أغتال من تحتي So this, uh, this dua which is roughly translated as follows Oh Allah I seek your forgiveness and your protection in my in this life and in the next life in the dunya and the akhirah oh allah i seek your forgiveness and your protection in my deen in my dunya in my life my uh, living in my family and my wealth oh allah conceal my secrets and not just my secrets all those areas which are yani which which potentially are where i could be um uh, con uh, you know, I'm, I'm exposed, conceal them. And guard me and preserve me from my anguish. O oh Allah, guard me from what is in front of me, what is behind me, what is on my right, what is on my left. And I seek refuge in your greatest from being struck down from beneath me. This dua is, um, it's quite an encompassing dua. It's obviously a dua the Prophet taught us as well. It was a dua that was encouraged to be mentioned in the morning and in the evening uh, to help a person protect himself and herself from a lots of things. Al-Afu is, um, Afu actually has two meanings. One is the pardoning, and that's why we say one of the dua that we try to look out for in the Laylatul Qadr, Allahumma innaka afu wa kareem, tuhibbu al-afu wa fa'afu anni. Uh, afu can mean pardoning, but also the other meaning of afu is the increase. The, the increase and that's why in the Quran Allah says يَسْأَلُونَكَ مَاذَا يُنْفِقُونَ قُلِ الْعَفُو They ask you what should they spend say الْعَفُو meaning that which is more than what you have and your excess give from what you have Allah subhanahu wa has given you your excess keep what you need for yourself but if you have excess give it and that's where the word afu is so I'm asking Allah asking you for your forgiveness but also asking you for for your virtue and your afia afia is protection but also it means to be uh, saved, you know. Say when somebody says mu'afa means that you are also free from any defects, any illnesses, any things that will, uh, you know, in any way um, lower, your, lower your abilities or your standards or etc. So we're asking for Allah, afu and afia, excess, virtue, pardoning, forgiveness, protection in the dunya, in the akhirah, in the deen, my ibadat and etc. In my worldly affairs, in my family and my wealth. So all the aspects give me, you know, pardon me, forgive me from falling into any error. If I fall into error, but also give me excess and virtue and also protect me and give me uh, comforts and etc. Then you're seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you. No, 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 one ha no one of us doesn't have any flaws. Uh, no one of us doesn't have any, anything that is um, embarrassing. You know, things that we don't really want others to see. These are the awrat, you know. We're not talking about the awra meaning just the, the private parts. But awrat means those areas of our lives which we would prefer to remain uh, secret or at least private so we're asking Allah to conceal those private things uh, so that nobody uh, can you know see them we're also also asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to um, to help us and to protect us from anything that causes anguish fears anxiety and also we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us uh, and to protect us from all aspects from all directions protect us uh, from the front from the back from the light from the left and this is a special reference to the shaitan as well because the shaitan remember he said he was going to attack from the front from the back from the right from the left and here it doesn't mean directions it doesn't mean oh yeah there's you know potential attack from it but it it means that there are things that will happen they're almost like metaphors so and, and time doesn't allow us to talk about these metaphors but basically all these different aspects of metaphors 
we ask you to help us and especially from underneath where we lie less likely to to be aware of that we don't get struck from underneath so it's a beautiful dua very important that we try and learn that and inshallah we can use it on a daily basis as well uh, let us end with a group dua inshallah ta'ala as we end